Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Pastor Brian at Holy Shepherd Lutheran Church. Today is Monday. It's March 4th. And I'm Deaconess Intern Claire. We are doing early evening on page 297 in Lutheran Service Book. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense. The lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory. Of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. All right, and so our devotion today is taken from the book of Job. We're in chapter 36, and we're starting at verse 1. Elihu continued, Bear with me a little longer, and I will show you that there is more to be said in God's behalf. I get my knowledge from afar. I will ascribe justice to my, make, my maker. Be assured that my words are not false. One perfect in knowledge is with you. God is mighty, but does not despise men. He is mighty and firm in his purpose. He does not keep the wicked alive, but gives the afflicted their rights. He does not take his eyes off the righteous. He enthrones them with kings and exalts them forever. But if men are bound in chains, held fast by cords of affliction, he tells them what they have done, that they have sinned arrogantly. He makes them listen to correction and commands them to repent of their evil. If they obey and serve him, they will spend the rest of their days in prosperity and their years in contentment. But if they do not listen, they will perish by the sword and die without knowledge. The godless in heart harbor resentment. Even when he fetters them, they do not cry for help. They die in their youth among male prostitutes of the shrines, but those who suffer he delivers in their suffering. He speaks to them in their affliction. He is wooing you from the jaws of distress to a spacious place free from restriction, to the comfort of your table laden with choice food. But now you are laden with a judgment due to the wicked. Judgment and justice have taken hold of you. Be careful that no one entices you by riches. Do not let a large bribe turn you aside. Would your wealth or even all your mighty efforts sustain you so that you would not be in distress? Do not long for the night to drag people away from their homes. Beware of turning to evil, which you seem to prefer to affliction. All right, so this is uh, getting into uh, Elihu's last and final speeches to Job. And, you know, he does talk about that the righteous are eventually exalted and, and they're even seated with thrones and, and, and kings um, and exalted forever. So we also have here in the book of Job the sort of view of, of the life to come. And uh, we know that there is a life to come uh, as, the, as Job is, is hearing about that. Uh, we do have more of, you know, the wicked get what's coming to them. Uh, that uh, the wicked don't, even if they seem to prosper in this life, that there is still the judgment of God that looms for them at some point. And uh, Elihu also talks about uh, Job watching out for temptation, that he, he may even seem to have this uh, uh, preference here. He says, beware of turning to evil, which you seem to prefer to affliction. <coughs> Job is getting so afflicted, that he may be tempted with evil, and uh, his speech may be running in that direction. And, and Elihu is, is giving him a cautionary prophetic word here uh, that, that he should be mindful of such things because he's not above temptation, and uh, he's, he's not above uh, falling into that, just like none of us are, right? And so uh, the message here for us is that, uh, you know, we're called to bear up under our afflictions patiently, to have faith in God, to remember the examples of Jesus who suffered on our behalf and to, uh, you know, for our faith to be strengthened during those times, that, that there may be times of affliction in our lives, but that uh, we have this calling from God to uh, be patient, to have faith, uh, to not turn to the right, to the left, to not give in to evil, to not renounce God, and uh, that uh, we ultimately know that we have deliverance uh, through the sacrifice of Christ who gives us life for us on the cross, that we would have the forgiveness of our sins and the promise of life everlasting. All right, we are back in Lutheran Service Book on page 297, and we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way, kindle our hearts, and awaken among, hope among us that we may rejoice, that, sorry, that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. All right, quite an announcements for today. Um, well, we will have ladies' Bible study tomorrow at 1. Um, we are still working through the first season of The Chosen. Even if you haven't attended, um, if you would like to, please feel free to stop by. Um, Wednesday, we will have youth night at 6, as well as our Lenten meal, and followed by the service at 7. Thursday, we will have Mahjong at 10 in the morning and Grief Share at 7. All right, and then um, let's see. We'll have our Easter schedule up being announced in the email newsletter probably uh, this coming Wednesday. Uh, we do have a work day happening. Uh, I believe it's uh, Saturday, March the 23rd. So we really could use a lot of folks up here. We have a lot of weeds to pull um, and just getting the grounds ready for Easter. And uh, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, I'm going on a trip to Germany this summer. If you would like to come, there's some information about that that's in the email newsletter. And so you can um, look at that to, uh, to get more information. So, that's all the analysis we have for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.